everyone what's up Rajat from VFX world hope you guys are doing absolutely fine I know I a bit late for this video but trust me I was super busy in this video I'll talk about new copycat notes so let's get started So guys right now we are in foundry website and uh, we are right now talking about copycat node so copycat is basically this one so let me tell you that first it's copy sequence specific effects such as garbage matting beauty repairs or deblurring from a small number of frames in a sequence and then trains to network in replicate his effect on the full sequence copycat output a trained network in a dot cat file ready for the interface not to apply our effect or your effect so this is said by foundry and today we'll explore that same effect and this is my final output and this is the main image as you can see like main footage so this will trying to cover on this video so please watch this video completely and before that please do subscribe to our channel vfx world because we're very close to hit 50k okay so this is our workflow i'll describe every step by step here so first of all this is my footage Control c and Control v to copy it here like this so just press one here to connect the viewer and just press w to hide those wipe effects and then just simply press this play button so this is a very very simple footage why I'm taking this I don't know but I really love this footage because there is no hair details and all basically copycat node is we are using for garbage matting and all in okay so first of all uh, we are selecting this footage and the frame range is only 50 so then what I have to do we are taking a frame and then range so this is called frame range we are just taking this and connect under this just like this and the frame range is right now 1 by 50 make it to 1 by 1 that's it because we are calculating everything by per frame by frame that's why I'm changing it frame range from 1 to 1 okay so basically what you have to do you have to select some specific frames and we have to define those specific frames with a very good proper like rotoscope and all like we are having right now 50 frames here so what you have to do you have to take four frames or five frames if you take more frames the result will become more if you take less frames obviously the result will not come a uh, very detailed way so uh, basically we are trying to take right now uh, four frames so just take a frame hold just like this connect it to here and make sure your workflow should be always clean and tidy just like this just click here and this is the very first frame taking this frame hold control c and control v here and connect with this one and uh, let's select and taking it to 15 number frame and then control c again control v connect and take it to like 35 number frame and last one here it's connect here and just make it to like this and this one will be our 50th frame that's it so right now we have number one number two number three and number four these four frames will define your exact final output yes if you take multiple number of more frames like 1 10 15 20 25 then the result obviously will come good okay so first of all what you have to do we have to do some specific rotoscope on this particular four frames so what you have to do just select the frame hold and press o on your keyboard to take this roto node and then just simply just normally you have to start a rotoscope entire the character or your footage subject and all if you press a to check the alpha there is no alpha is visible here just connect here then it can see okay so now before moving forward just take the footage here and by pressing tab i'm taking a shuffle node and connect it here and just simply click here to get it black connected here just completely black just like this so click click here and what you have to do you just have to simply start drawing your rotoscope shapes and all i'll get back to you when the all frames rotoscope will be done okay so the my rotoscope part is done when you press a you can see the alpha here this is my first frame this is my second number frame and let me go through with all the frames this is my third number frame let me show you this is my third and obviously this is the fourth number of frame so these are the four frames which will have uh, the complete rotoscope final output and if you can see the rotoscope is very much precise okay so the rotoscope part is done the next step is all about we have to take a uh, append this clip the append clip and make sure you have to connect all this rotoscopes in a very sequence method so first of all connect one and from here take it two and then three and after that connect with this four now when you connect with here 
simply nothing is visible here i know that but make sure when you connect one two three four the sequence should be always proper like one then two then three then four this should be not applicable so after that double click on this append node and then tab i'm taking a shuffle node because we are trying to convert the entire alpha in a different color so just connect this one to this red one and release all these buttons here so now it's completely in the red channel but we don't need any other channel so what we have to do just have to remove channel to remove all the rest of the channels so first of all make it to kip and make it to rgba and remove green blue and alpha now it's completely red now why i'm doing this the very simple method if you want to use green or blue or simple alpha you can exactly do it but the red channel means is if you just go to any channel you can exactly see the red but for the alpha you have to go here press a and then you can see the alpha so that's why i'm removing all the channels and connect with this and we can see the red channel again you have to take another remove channel just like this and connect with this one double click here this is for the input so go to remove and keep and make it to rgb that's it now when you click here you can exactly see the footage and now the very first step is done let me go through with the next step which is a copycat so just type copycat and release it here so you can find this copycat node here after that we're going to find this ground truth and input so obviously you have to connect the ground truth to this one and input will go to this one okay so we can find this error here first time so just go one here to connect with this if you find this error relax just turn off this gpu and turn it back on because sometimes it's happened when you already done before this much script here if you completely started for the very first time it will not showing here Okay, so let me go through with all the settings here. This is a data directory and you can find this local GPU. If you have a very good GPU, you can obviously use this GPU to faster your rendering process. And this is a data directory. So what do you have to do? You have to create a .cat file. Just browse it here and you can find this folder already created. Just press open so you can exactly set your location. Now this is a call epochs and this is a channel RGB to RGB red because you're converting this one from this one. Okay, this is a bad side which is zero auto right now. Total step is also in zero. Go to advanced. You can exactly find out all the settings. If you have to change it manually, you can find out this many options. So go to batch size first, make it to manual and you can automatically see the changes between batch size eight and this is total steps is 5,000. Now, if you decrease the batch size, the rendering time will be increasing, but your output will go more crystal clear and more proper way. If you make it to one and press enter, you can see the total steps are this one. This is very high number and it will take around three to five hours based on your GPU. If you have a good GPU, it will not taking so much time. So I am here to take like three here to make it to this one. This is very good number. You trust me, this is a very good number. You can start working with this because this can help you a lot. After that, release all the parts here. Don't need to change anything. But if you want to play with this, you can definitely start. And this is a graphs, Python and Node. I'll come later a bit. So after that, we'll be happy with this just press this start training when you click the start training the training process will starting and it will take around like two to three hours you can see this is a one hours 15 minutes already calculating wow it's two hours or sometimes it's starting like three hours as well now if you go to this graph here you can exactly see this is a graph and time by time the graph will going decline so it means your process is starting and this is very good way this is a loss okay you can see this loss so this is good decline see if you really want to see it here you can start increasing the smoothness so that you can see these lines are getting now smooth or you can you can use this log scale as well these are the all like basic graphs based on your output that you can exactly see here that this is your edges already start getting this comment renders and all so let's get back to you after the complete two hours process will be done okay so the two hours rendering is just now completed so after that what you can see here on this panel you can find this resume training if you really want to resume again it you can just simply click it here or else you can create this inference so what you have to do select anywhere just go here and click this inference so that you can find this amazing node here connect this input to this uh, like footage and just press one here you can find this error method because what you have to do you have to specify your dot cat file so just go here and i am selecting my folder this is my copycat and this is my main this is your dot cat file so just select and press one so what you can see this is your alpha you can exactly 
to go anywhere to check how it's look like but this is not a real time play because it's pretty heavy so what you can do you can simply press the right note connect it here and press one and render it in a jpeg sequence i already done this before so what you can do i just imported it first so press r to import and just press import so press one here so now you can see this is our alpha and it's completely real time now you can see this many patches here because those are all in smoke but this is our main main alpha so what you can do i'll show you what you can do exactly go to the first frame this node i don't need right now so press d here to did not read it then what you can do just press tab and take a copy node and just list here and connect the b pipe to the input and select here and i'm changing the rgb alpha to rgb a red and that's it and then press tab and i'm taking a pre melt to cut out the entire area so this is our final output when you play this and exactly see this is completely rotoscope the background is completely blank but on this area you can find this many patches what you really can do just take a roto node just like this and simply start a mask here and after that make it to invert and connect this one like this so now this is gone so by this way you can exactly refine your final output and that's it for this tutorial i hope you really enjoyed this amazing new 13 new feature copycat node and thank you foundry for giving us this amazing gift so guys hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if yes then don't forget to subscribe to our channel vfx world and also follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below and don't forget to use copycat node we are coming with more amazing tutorials till then have fun stay home don't go outside keep rocking keep watching vfx world